the task at hand, your aspirations, the goal that you have set out, you have the discipline, you have the commitment, what is holding you back? How strong is your courage? How much does fear play into your decisions or lack of decisions or lack of action? Fear is something that is so powerful that you can have everything. You have all, everything checked, everything across the board. But that fear, that lack of courage will make you crumble. Having the lack of courage to step out and say, even if I fail, so what? I'll come back again. Having lack of courage and you're so concerned with what this person's going to think. Oh, this person's going to, I don't want to be embarrassed in front of these people. Who cares? Who really cares? Why are you letting this person have so much, <laughs> taking up so much space in your mind? Develop that courage to take action. Develop the courage to implement the steps necessary to get you to where you need to go. Stop resorting to the comfort zone and saying, oh, it's because I don't have this, I don't have that. No, you have everything you need. Except courage. To execute, to go for it, to try. That fear is such a powerful thing that it can either make you run towards discomfort or it's going to make you run away and curl up. Look, I know some people who don't even want to travel to certain countries because they're so concerned and so afraid of, you know, what the locals, they don't, the locals don't like this, don't like me because I'm this color and that color. They don't like where I'm from. I know people, I've heard it, I've seen it. People who are interested in, in, in real estate and want to, you know, make their money work for them. But you're afraid to invest. So what do you expect is going to happen? That every time you get up to the plate, every time you get up to, to book the ticket, every time you get up to start the business, to start the LLC, you curl up. When I say putting that mirror in front of your face, so I've said it before, having the self-audit. I want you to put that mirror in front of your face and ask, how much courage do I really have? How much courage do I really, truly have? Not just saying it because it sounds good. No. When it's time to get tested, when it's time to really step up, are you there? Put it like this. Would you count on yourself when things got rough that you would show up? Would you be the person that when things get shaky, that you have the courage to step to the plate? Could you rely on you in another situation? Let's build up that courage, everybody. Let's toughen up. Start using that fear, not as something that's gonna make us run away, but it's like, oh, I need to conquer this and I need to push forward. Courage is so powerful. We're looking for these hacks and we're looking for this. We're looking for that. Like the, I don't know. Let's just have some balls to get things done. Let's just have some balls to take that initiative. Let's have the balls to stay disciplined. Let's have the balls to really be accountable for ourselves and get to where we need to get to. Let's go back to the fundamentals. Discipline, courage, commitment, knowledge, Wisdom, understanding. What is that thing that you want to do? But every time you think about it, oh, I don't know because I need to keep this current situation going. I, I need to keep up this front in front of everybody. I need to keep up with the, I need to keep up with society that doesn't even care about me to make sure I look good even though I'm miserable inside, but oh no, no, I can't, I can't color outside the line. We can't do that. Let's wake up. 